From the floor of the CME Group, this is Danny Riley on today's closing print. You know what? A little bit of a further dip, and then you know what? We got the rip. Late in the day. You know, that's exactly how this price action works here. The high of the day came in at 15.05 even on the open. The low came in at 14.95.30 late in the day. And last, we're 1,500 even. We're down 7.1 handles. MOC, the Dow 30 was mixed. And on the broader market, MOC, they had 420 million to buy. Tomorrow, we've got no, we've got no economic schedule here. We've got a little Fed speak. And here, what we want to get back to is talking about is one thing and one thing only. Yesterday on the close, they had an imbalance of 1.2 billion to buy, and the S and P's closed on the low. Today, they have 420 million to, to buy. Late in the day, the S and P rallied a little bit. The question here is: is the, is the S and P setting up to continue down, or is this just another blip in the road to another high? It's our guess, as long as the there's still buy imbalances showing up here that the markets are going to be supported by that. Does it mean that we can't sell off? No, it doesn't. Obviously, we've seen this the last couple of days. And last but not least, I want to mention one little thing. We are seeing big volume here in the S&P today. We've got about two and a half million minis traded. And if you recall, last week, late in the week, we were doing 1.1, 1.2, 1.3 million minis a day. That's not very much. But what we do know is that when the markets start to go south, the volume increases in size here. So it tells us what people are doing is they're kind of waiting on the eaves here to see if the market's going to get a little bit of a follow through. And if they do, then they're going to all come piling back in. But right now, it's a coin toss. We'll see you tomorrow on the opening print.